Parnell and this is Shane and this is our recap for our beginners class at our Parnell venue on Wednesday the 11th of September. Um, tonight we did a bit of a recap on our Charleston moves but we also did some eight count because this was meant to be an eight count course. <laughs> so we started off in a close hold and we just did our basic which was back, rock, step, and step, 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 and step. We did that several times. And then we started turning it around, so the lead moves forward on his left foot, so back and turn around, step, step, turn around. We did that by just traveling a little bit, but then we also did it with quite a lot of momentum, so we turn it off, dun, 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 step, 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 step. And remember we talked about how um, it's a little bit like that game where you used to hold each other's arms and then use the momentum to sort of create this force where you both got sent out of the circle, so a similar idea except that we're doing it with the eight count footwork and in a close hold. So then the next thing we did was using that momentum, we got the leads to release on five. So we went, a one, two, turn around, release the girl. We do that one more time. Five, six, seven, and a one, two, turn around, release the girl. And that was called a swing out. And the things to remember were to try and stay um, with your feet underneath you at all times and push your hips back slightly for both the lead and the follow. It would make it a little bit easier to stay in control. Then we took that eight count move, the swing out, and we added it to three Charleston basics which we learned last week. So it looked like this. We went, Charleston, kick, kick, gang, kick. We did it again. Kick, kick, gang, kick. Last time. Then we did a swing out. We went one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that was our class.